Welcome, sports fans, to the PBNZ Sports Chaos Show, your weekly sports sandwich. And this week, we are fueled by our friends from Night Shift Brewery in Everett, Massachusetts. This week, we are featuring their One Hop This Time Brew, and the flavor is Simcoe. They have apparently six flavors of the One Hop This Time. Simcoe is one of them. A nice, tasty 6.0 ABV. By the way, Night Shift is also one of the sponsors of the Beer Garden on the Charles River every summer. They started last year, one of the originals. Try it out this summer. Nice brew. All right, Paul, Thanks. shout outs. Shout outs, yeah. So we wanted to thank our viewers. We are now up to, Russ, believe it or not here, we are sitting at 463 unique viewers on our show. Unbelievable since we started this three weeks ago. Um, we're going to be posting our, Ooh. this is our fourth episode now. Um, and even more importantly, our third episode Rock. last week alone has 152 views already. It's only been up for six days. So Welcome thank once. you to our fans. And as we expand our national presence, I just want to shout out to a few of our new members that are not from the New England area. Um, Karen in Chicago. Uh, Hi, Adam and Jillian in California. Ooh, West we Coast. also have Kelly in Savannah, Georgia. Ooh. And Nick ATL. in the ATL. Yeah, and then we have um, Tanya in Ohio, we have Tyler in Denver, and we also have Barb in Pennsylvania. Ooh. So thank you. Thank you, Bob. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome, man. I'm so excited. It's All great. Right. All right, this week we're going to stay very local, folks. We've got four topics. A little Bruins update for you. 18, 18. West Coast swing for the Celtics. We're going to talk a little Red Sox down there in Fenway South. And... Patriots with a little NFL rubbed in. All right, are you ready, PB? I am ready. All right, let's bring it on. Bruins, Bruins, Bruins. I can't believe the game Thursday night. That now gives them 18 games in a row with a point. Yes. They came back from 2 nothing deficit. Then they were down again with 30 seconds left. They scored two goals to bring back and win that game. Awesome game against Florida. This is unbelievable. This is the second year in a row that they've had an 18-game point streak. Yeah. Which is the first time in 40... 40-something years the Canadians did it. The Canadians were the last team yeah. to do it. Repeated 18-plus yeah. um, games in a row. Wow. So, yeah, 32 out of 36 points. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. That's a good stretch. And they went from not being the talk of the town, right? Uh, they were very... I mean, we were still talking about the uh, Patriots. Yeah. We were talking about spring training coming out, the Celtics, and what's wrong with them. And all of a sudden, they're a buzzword right now, right? They are. Without yeah. pasta. He's been out for a couple weeks, Without right? Without pasta, yeah. Uh, I, I'm still going to say that they're a better team with pasta on the ice. Um, there's no question about mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's talk out there, oh, they're winning without him, they're winning without him, maybe they're a better team without him. Uh, not the case. I mean, this this team is obviously maybe peaking a little too early. I'd like to see him doing this going into the playoffs. So maybe, maybe another week or two before they side the streak, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 But either way, you're not going to sustain this level of play going into the playoffs without tossing knock on the ice. I would and agree. I they, would agree. And that's and that's really what it's all about. Everyone takes it up a notch. It's a new it's a new slate, and yep. they, they really need to do that um, at that time. Yes. All right, moving on. Celtics. So Celtics. Uh, little, speaking of streaks. They've won two in a row. Apparently, that's a streak for the Celtics, right? <laughs> but they are out west where they, you know, that's a challenging road trip. They did beat the Warriors, the so called best team in the uh, NBA. They crushed them. It was the worst uh, home loss by Steve Kerr team um, since he's been there. And then they won back to back, beating uh, Sacramento the next night. So the question, though, is can they win consistently and can they win with Kyrie? Because the second game they won without Kyrie, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Back to the point with pasta. Yeah. Kyrie, pasta. I, I, yeah, I think that's a different story because, I mean, you look at the Celtics when they don't have, you know, the Bruins are winning games, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the Celtics, you know, statistically they're a better team when Kyrie's not on the court. That is which a is, point. That is, is a fact. Is You're right. So maybe he's a, he's a great player. Maybe he's not a great player on that team. Right. Or he, or he makes other distractions occur, communication, whatever it might be. Um, but this is a joke. I mean, they, they win two games in a row. We're, we're really talking about the Celtics again? I mean, think about it. And even if they do pull off these two games, which I don't think they will. So you think LA, they're going to L.A., you think they're going to lose one out of the two or two out of the yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. And, and even if they did win them both, big deal. They won four games. The, the Celtics, I mean, the Bruins just won um, four games um, out west as well. Yeah, before Good they point. came Good on point. their road trip, they've won. They're fourteen zero and four, and right. we're talking about them being worried about them going in the playoffs. Like, what do you? The Celtics with a two-game winning streak, all of a sudden we think they're going to go in the playoffs and 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 make. 
I, I just don't see that. I will say Sorry. that I still think, and one of our listeners pointed this out, that I think they need another dependable big man. It's too late now at this point in time. Obviously, Robert Williams, the big dude from Texas, the, the number one uh, draft pick they picked up this year, would be a help. He's a little bit injury prone. We shall see. I think they got to win these two games and then come home and see what happens at that point in time. Who knows? Um, Lakers tonight and Doc Rivers on Monday night. Yep, we'll see. All right, moving on. We're going to talk a little bit about our friends down in Fenway South, the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Jet Blue Park South, I guess is why they're calling that, right? Or what they're calling that? Well, it's because, um, you know, Jet Blue's Cub is in Boston. So it's like Jet Blue South is like. I, I had guess. no idea. So you frequent travelers, frequent flyer travelers, you know that. Apparently, <laughs> I did not know that. I don't fly enough. Okay, now I get it why they call that. I couldn't figure it out. All right, <laughs> let's talk about the team. So, um,. They have a lot going on, obviously. Uh, they were just on the ESPN All Access the other day. If you didn't see, you missed a great show. That's all I'm going to say. Very enlightening with the guys mic'd up live. I love to see it. Uh, I'm glad I was able to take the day off and watch that. What do you think, though, at this point in time? The big stars haven't pitched yet, right? No, nope, they haven't pitched yet. I'm not really worried about the preseason. That They're getting loose. They're warming up. They're doing what they need to do to get ready for the regular season. It means nothing to me. Um, just looking forward to the season starting, really. So, let me ask you a question. Stephen Wright suspended 80 games. Is that a factor? Um, well, you know, you got you to stay on the juice to throw those knuckleballs. <laughs> there you go. You better be juice to throw the floater. All right. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think it has any impact. I mean, the guy won, what, three games last year? Yeah, granted, ERA on the three, which is great. But, right, right. Uh, you know... He, he he's a nice filler when you need it. You know, guy goes on the, on the DL for a little while. You bring right in, throws a few games. I, he what, would be the sixth starter, which apparently they're going to pitch six starters in the first eleven games. That's the talk right now. So the starters are going to be um, Seal, Pocello, Price, Price, um, Erod, Erod, and Avaldi. Right? Evaldi, yep. Not in that order, but that that's the yep. five. And then now without um, a right, it looks like it might be Brian Johnson or some other. Yep. Some only guy, right? Yeah, yeah. So l- let me ask you this. Here's what's I'm I'm boggled by this right now. Vegas has us tied the third in the odds behind Houston. Did we not beat Houston in the playoffs? We did. Behind the Yankees, did we not beat the Yankees in the playoffs? Yes, we did. And we're tied with the Dodgers. I, I, hang on, do we not beat them in the World Series? I I know it's mind boggling. So way, right? we're tied with them, and who did we lose? Off the roster. I mean, technically, nobody yet. I mean, Kimbrell's probably not going to be there, but he was less than impressive down the stretch. So Good point. if You're he right. goes, he, he goes. Um, I, I, I think it's a real, um, you know, shocker to me that they, that we're still behind those three teams odds wise. I mean, they must be thinking that the, the the team can't stay as healthy as they did last year. If you think about the starting staff. They stayed pretty healthy. I mean, Good they point. took little Good stints point. off. Sale took some maintenance t- time off, but for the most part. It was a pretty healthy, healthy year for the Red Sox, right? And that pitching staff was fairly impressive. I mean, the records you have the yeah, records. Seventeen, Porcello seventeen and seven, Price sixteen and seven, Sale twelve and four, Erod thirteen and five. Those are great winning percentages, right? Win, win totals, you know, okay. That's the starting for four. The you have percentage. maybe with twelve wins or more, four pitches. That that's great. Uh, but the but the winning percentages are great. There's very few losses there. No, and, and by um, the way, the first two guys, the Pacello and Price, can be around that. That's great. Supposedly, the big rumor now is that Erod is the guy. He has all the stuff. Everybody says he has electric stuff. All the other pitchers talk about him. If he can do better than thirteen and five, is that what you said, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that's the thing. If he can get to eighteen or nineteen, yeah, that that's a stretch. But and 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 Seal winning twelve, I think, is an anomaly. Don't you agree? Yeah, he sh- he should be pu- he should be looking at a twenty game season. And we haven't even factored in Evaldi yet, right? right? With that offense, he should be he should be a twenty game winner, I think. Sale, Evaldi, um, you know, Evaldi to me is a, a five hundred pitcher. He he's a guy who's going to come Career in. Career wise, yeah, he's, he's going to throw gas. Right, hundred and one. He's going he's going to get his strikeouts. He's going to go. You know, to me, he's an eleven ten guy. Mm-hmm. You know. 12 and 10 guy or something like that. But do you think it'll be 12 and 10 with this team? Though? Well, that's the thing. With, with the offense behind you like that, you could easily, you know, that's that's two or three games the other way. Now all of a sudden, instead of being a 12 and 11 pitcher, you're a you know 15 and 7 pitcher or something right. like that. So, you know, I could see Valdi making that's a big, big contribution this year. I mean, they 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 signed him for a reason. They did. You're right. Yeah. He has an arm. He, he yep. has an arm. All right. Uh, moving on, we're going to come to our weekly fun facts. So 100 years ago, right? Something big happened, right? Yeah, yeah, and that has to do with the um, Stanley Cup. Right? Yeah. So, hey, sports fans, I bet you didn't know this. A hundred years ago, PB, did you know this? Back a hundred years ago, nineteen nineteen, 
the NHL actually played a first half and a second half of the season. Two days ago, the first half winner in 1919 was the dreaded Les Habitats, the yeah. Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. They won the first half. The second half was the Ottawa. Believe it or not, they were still called the Senators back then, even though they had a gap for another 50 years. The Senators won the second half. And then they had to play the winner in the Stanley Cup was the PCHA. H-A. Am I correct? Yep. All right. Yep. The Seattle... Uh, Metropolitans. The Mets? The Seattle Mets? Can you believe it? Yes. Wow. I know. So yeah. they played and, the Seattle and, and, Mets. And Seattle's getting a new team now. That's right. They're, what are they going to be called the, this time? The Pilots, I believe. Yeah. Seattle's going to have a team. So yeah. anyways, what yeah. happened back then, believe it or not, fans, no Stanley Cup was awarded in 1919. Do you know why? PB, any idea? Um, the dreaded flu. Oh, it was the flu. They all got the flu. The series was tied 2-2-1, two, two and one, and they said, everybody's sick. We're going to quit the series. It's all over. No Stanley Cup was awarded. Yeah. That's our fun That's fact this week. Can you answer that? No Stanley Cup. That's in interesting. 19. Hey, take that to your local bar, bet a little on it, see if you can get a few brews. All yeah. right, we are moving on. Now it's time for our favorite part of the show. The NFL and the Patriots. And the Patriots, yeah. So, Bay, it's a big period right now. Free agency starts officially on... March 13th. Wednesday. Yep. But apparently, unofficially, it's been going on for a week because we know Nick Foles has been signed by... The um, Jags and... Uh, Flacco down in Denver. Flacco's right? been traded to Denver, right? I mean, the rumors go on, and the one we just heard today was in the Patriots. Oh, world. oh, Michael Bennett. Yeah, Michael Bennett, brother of Martellus. Yeah, coming here back in New England. Well, so, no, not back in New England, but Martellus is. You know, if he came back, but, and that's another the, wild they, rumor out there. Yeah, Martellus might want to hang, bring, bring, put his cleats yeah. back on. But imagine so, that. Imagine the McCordy brothers one week year, and then you got the Bennett brothers the next year, and it's like. <laughs> They're Chicken wild chows. Ben's a wild child. But let's talk about that. It's a Brady minute. bunch, right? They, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Bennett, though, essentially means what? That means... That means bye-bye flowers, likely, right? Um, By the way, I mean, Bennett is how old? Bennett's 33, 34. And flowers is roughly 20... 25. So we are going to take a guy with more mileage on him, right? Less gas in the tank for yeah. the new model. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, it means he's going to sign for less money than we could get Trey for, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the whole thing. I mean, they're both they're both six four. They're both you know that two sixty five, two seventy. So they look a lot range. alike. They, they right? look a lot alike. Um, they, their sack numbers are similar. The last couple of years, um, Bennett had a lot of QB hits last year. That's kind of what I think Belichick's looking at uh, bringing him in. Obviously, his um, experience is going to be huge. Two Super Bowls, right? He but, won but, one, but, and then he lost to us, right? Lost, right, right. Malcolm right. Butler. But but the whole thing is, you know, this is what the Patriots do, right? Right. They, they don't they don't they don't sign big contracts to quote unquote superstars, right? And and no, and this don't. is and this is no different, right? I mean, they don't pay. I mean, Kraft won't pay for a high price hooker. He's going to go the cheap route, right? He does seventy nine dollars an hour down he, in Florida. He's apparently, he's going to do the same thing with his team. And, but but we can't question it because right. that's how they've operated over all these years. Right. Yeah, and that is true. So this is this is no different to say, hey Trey, you know what? You're going to get a lot of money. We know you're going to get a lot of money. You're a free agent. You got a good agent. Go out and get that money if you can. And we're going to go ahead. But it's it's not. The thing is, it's not Bennett for Flowers, and that's where I think a lot of the confusion comes in. Is uh, which so it looks all, like on paper, bring, right. right? On paper, oh, we're bringing in Bennett, we're getting rid of Flowers, and you just mentioned, oh, you, it's, it, you're almost trading off nine years of age, which, nine years of experience, but nine years of physicality. Right, you're trading beatings, off right. beatings, physical yeah, beatings, physical beatings. So it's it's, but that's not what it's about. They're going to take the money that they would have paid Flowers, mm-hmm. and they're going to reallocate that to get other people to either stay or bring other people in. Uh, we know we got to do something with receiver. We talk about that in a minute. So they're gonna put the team together the way it needs to be built, and that's that's what the Patriots have done so well over the years. And then they hand it over to Belichick. Belichick's involved in these decisions as well, and then he leverages the talent that he's got. Ball, he makes them all. And he leverages the talent. I mean, he leveraged friggin' James Harrison when they had him. Yep. The guy he he came in on certain plays and right, did what he had right. to do on those plays. Right. That's what they do. I, I, I'm, I'm no, fine. Right. I'm right. fine with it. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my God, they're letting Flowers go," but they let Chandler Jones go. They let Jamie Collins go. They let Richard Seymour go. This isn't the first rodeo for them letting, you know. So uh, flipping the other side of the ball. Go. So theoretically, we're losing our best defensive lineman. Trey's gone. I, arguably, he was our best defensive lineman. Yeah. 
And then, on the flip side, last week we talked about who I believe I believe was the best offensive lineman. Brown. Yeah. Trent Brown. He's going to be gone as well because he's going to come in yeah. $14, $15 million because he was the best left, left tackle yeah. in football. He's gone. And I don't know that they could find a suitable replacement. Yeah. They talk about that bringing Cam Fleming more. back. That concerns me more. Yeah. That concerns me more because Brady, you know, we know Brady's a, a vintage Packet pocket passer, yes, right? Correct, That's what he does, correct, correct. and and you got to keep that guy up. You got to keep that pocket protected. Well, you look at the Eagles Super side. Bowl versus this year, right? Brady stayed up more often this year than he did against the Eagles, right? Yeah. Even though he threw for five hundred plus yards, but when he had to throw, he got sacked, right? Yeah. Well, that whole year was a struggle, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, which is why this year I think their their offensive line they need to keep that intact. I think Trent Brown's gonna be a huge loss. I uh, I don't know what they can do. The other guy that didn't get franchised last Monday on the franchise deadline day was. Kostowski, right? The kicker. Oh, yeah, 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 the kicker, yeah. And as as you have said in the past, we have been... We're spoiled about kickers, right? Spoiled. We, we had, had Adam, right? We've had two Adam. kickers since the late 90s, right? Or mid-90s, right? Since Vinatieri and, and Kostowski. That's been Adam's it. Adam's a Hall of Famer. Do you agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you think Kostowski sure. has a chance, possibly? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes okay. down with kickers comes down how long this so we ask last. well because there's not that many kickers in the NFL that have two for one teams, unbelievable. Yeah, right. Yeah, but right. We, but we, we you know we we get on their case when they miss a kick and you know <laughs> oh, oh do but, we ever? But sorry, Kostowski. But, 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 but other teams, I mean, they're playing you know kicker carousel. I mean, there's been some that have, that have played for a while. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but there's kicker kick, kicker carousel going on in oh, some of these yeah, teams. And some it's, teams it, go through we, three we, or four in a year. Yeah, we take it for granted. Right, we really do. So let's just talk uh, the other big needs wide receiver. They only have literally like. Three guys under contract right now. Cordaro, Cordaro Patterson, his contract is up. Philip Dorsett's up. The only guys they have... Hogan's up. Hogan's up, right? Yep. So the only guy under contract still is Julian Barrios, the kid from Miami who didn't play at all this year. And they call him a wide receiver. He's really a tight end. Um, uh, Hollister. Hollister. Yep. So what are they going to do there? they got to yeah. get a receiver. Yeah. yeah. I think they'll resign Dorsett. I think he's the most likely probably to get resigned. I like Dorsett. I think yeah. they should. Yeah. Patterson. They used him the wrong way. I think Patterson, too, with his special teams play, and he, yep. he's like a um, – he comes in on niche situations. Correct. I think he might he might get resigned because he's short money, I think. By the know? way, if they don't – if they can't sign him for three or four million, which is kind of the number that's talked about, there's a guy out there that played Dallas last year, Tavon Austin. He's another gimmicky oh, guy. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, mind seeing him. Yeah. But, but to your point, this they need someone. Don't you right. think? Obviously, yeah. Josh might be around some point in time if he doesn't get a suspension. But they need a big body guy, right? Yeah, they do. They and, don't and, have that. And, right, it. and they're talking about guys like you know Golden Tate's been talked about, but he's more so of a he, slot he's guy. He's a slot guy. Yeah. He's not a big guy. No. Um, so Randall Cobb's been talked about. I do um, like Randall. Funches from Carolina. I, I like they, Devin Funches. He, he's, big he's, boy. He's, he was a tight end right. in Michigan. Yeah, he's he's a he's a big kid. Big I dude. think he can he can I think I could see him, but it's it's so hard. Head case. Yeah, it's like, and, and the Patriots system, that's the, the hardest thing I think in the Patriots offense is receiver. Chad Johnson couldn't they make it, right? In and they and right. Well, think about just last year all the guys they brought in with Decker and none uh, of those guys could Rashad Matthews the system, right? and, and they just they, they come in and out in and out and in and out. They don't even like it's it's very difficult to play in that offense, I think, as a receiver, which is why guys like Julian Edelman, which is why why I think you should you know really look at keeping Dorsett and, and they know the system now. They've been around, right? They're acclimated to it. I yeah, would agree with you. Yeah. I would agree with you. All right, a lot more to come with the Patriots and the NFL draft. Who knows? There's a lot of receivers out there. They might be able to get in the fourth, fifth, sixth round now yeah. that everybody plays that wide open. Can't office. wait to do our draft shows. It's going to be so April much fun. April twenty fifth. We will well, be getting ready for wait. that. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait and to do our draft coming shows. up in another week or two, we will be talking a little NCAA Matt March Madness. Yep. Any final and the Frozen Four? Don't frozen forget about the Frozen Four. four. Yes. yes. Final parting shots. I know we didn't talk about curling this week, but no, maybe next week we'll have a curling update for you. Um, okay. But yeah. Other than that, hey, you gotta look us up. Um, P B and Z. That's P B, the letter N Z. Sports Chaos. We're on uh, Facebook with our Facebook group page. Please become a member, and we are also on YouTube. And please become a subscriber. One hop this time. Have a great night. Thank you. Mm -hmm.